What if I were to tell you that there is a protein in your brain that has miracle grow like properties for your memory? What if I were to tell you that stimulating growth of this protein in your brain has been shown in thousands of studies to help with everything from depression, anxiety, learning, aging slower, mental illness, traumatic brain injury, and cognitive function. Well, in today's 10 minute memory hack, I'm gonna tell you exactly that and how to get more of this miracle grow like protein. In a 2007 study, German researchers found that people learned vocabulary words 20% slower when compared to people that increased their levels of this miracle protein right before learning. What if I told you that as you get older, you make less and less of this protein, but that you can easily generate more of it within a matter of minutes? So what is this miracle protein called that does all this? Let me come back to that. I'm just kidding, just kidding. I want to do that to you. It's called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. It essentially fertilizes your brain cells to keep them functioning and growing, as well as propelling the growth of new neurons. Hi, I'm Julia Lundstrom, a neuroscience and brain health educator and the CEO of Simple Smart Science. So BDNF builds the buildings, sidewalks, roads, and freeways in your brain. It also maintains these same ecosystems after they've been built. It improves the function of neurons and encourages their growth. It strengthens them and protects them to live longer and stronger. The more BDNF you have in your brain, the better your brain works. You can give your car regular gas, but you won't see a Formula One car getting 87, 89, or even 93 octane level of gas. They get a high octane fuel. BDNF is the high octane fuel your brain needs, and the more it gets, the better it performs. And it's really key for your memory. It's involved in the formation of different types of memories and is critical for maintaining long lasting storage of information in your hippocampus, your amygdala, and your insular cortex many hours after learning occurs. It helps your neurons survive. It's critical for memory recall, learning, your long-term memory, and your short-term memory. It may even be key to breaking down or preventing Alzheimer's and dementia. Researchers at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago studied the cognitive function of 535 older men and women, some with Alzheimer's and some with not, and they studied them for an average of six years. And when they died and autopsied their brains, they found the amount of BDNF proteins in their brains was directly related to the documented rate of cognitive decline that those men and women experienced in the years right before they died they found that study participants with the most BDNF protein, the top 10%, had 50% slower cognitive decline than those with the lowest, 10%. Even among those with Alzheimer's disease, higher levels of BDNF were associated with less severe cognitive effects. So let's look at what else BDNF affects. Researchers have found that people with depression have low levels of BDNF. And in postmortem study of people who committed suicide and had depression, they also found significantly decreased levels of BDNF. It may not be the cause of depression, but it certainly is a factor. And then if you look at anxiety, the, the National Institute of Mental Health labels anxiety a learning deficit because the brain is unable to learn to discriminate between dangerous situations and benign situations giving you anxiety. They believe that BDNF is an essential ingredient in, combat in combating anxiety. They think that it helps the brain learn to work around the fear and create positive memories. To make matters worse, it's estimated that one in three people have a genetic mutation that makes BDNF levels fall much faster than average. It really is the brain's miracle fuel. So the obvious next question is, can I get more BDNF? And the resounding answer is thankfully, yes. And it's pretty darn easy too. So let's go through some easy ways to boost BDNF right now in this moment and then ways to build it for the long term. So first, if you're sitting down, I want you to stand up if you're able. I want you to quickly jump up and down 10 times. If you're in a wheelchair, can't jump, 
I want you to stay seated and bend to touch your toes or, or lift your arms up really fast 20 times. There, you just increased your BDNF. The best way to increase BDNF in the moment is to exercise. And short, intense exercise is showing to be best. But do whatever you can for your ability level. And this goes back to another 10 minute memory hack I have on trying to remember something in the moment by doing 10 jumping jacks. That bolsters your BDNF and helps you remember. A single bout of exercise increases your hippocampal BDNF. However, exercise is only a, a short-term solution, not that short-term. After stopping exercising, a neuroscientist at UC Irvine found that increases in BDNF lasted a full two weeks. And that increases in brain function were just as good for older patients as well as younger ones. So, what besides exercise increases BDNF levels? How about learning something new like you're doing right now? You're increasing your BDNF. Learning something new gives a quick boost to your BDNF levels in the hippocampus itself, which is your memory center. The most fun way to boost BDNF is to eat dark chocolate, which is my favorite. I recommend anything over 70% dark chocolate. The antioxidants activate your BDNF pathway. Other foods with the same antioxidants are called polyphenols can do just the same thing. Green tea, blueberries, and colorful veggies. So why not just double up to be safe and have your dark chocolate with your green tea? Uh, fasting, which I talk about in another 10 minute memory hack, so subscribe to get all of them, is a great way to boost your BDNF and the effects last much longer. Then you have to look at the long term. Some longer term strategies around getting better quality or less disruptive and more sleep, as well as getting more social. And this one's critical. And actually, this social component is not one that I just want to gloss over. A Harvard study that spanned 80 years found the greatest predictor of happiness and health and longevity was embracing community and having great relationships. In fact, social was three times as important as the next one down, which was nutrition. There are also nutrients and supplements that have been shown to increase your BDNF. Omega-3 fatty acids, and specifically the DHA component of omega-3s, have been shown to increase your BDNF long-term. Uh, some animal studies have shown that zinc and magnesium have also increased BDNF. Natural sunlight for 15 minutes a day is another great way to increase your BDNF. Now for some BDNF depressants. What can actually lower your BDNF? Those of you that have been following me for a while now in my 10 pillars of brain health, you're not going to be surprised at all at these. The first one is stress. When they say stress kills, it really does. There's no excuse for living a stressed out life. Do whatever it takes to simply live your life. Let it go. Number two is sugar. In my 30 day boost your memory coaching program, I go into specifics with sugar and I go deep on the different types of sugar that are worse for your brain health. But for this lesson, I just want you to know that sugary processed foods are memory destroying culprits. As they say, you know, eat on the outside edges of the grocery store and stay away from the middle junk. Social isolation, yes, this is just like I said before, but it's worth repeating, do not be a hermit, especially after COVID, get out there and be social. All right, that was a lot of information, so let's do a quick review. More BDNF good, less BDNF bad, potentially very bad. To increase your BDNF in the moment, you wanna exercise, learn something new, eat dark chocolate, which is my favorite. Longer term, you wanna get longer, better quality sleep, Fast, get more sunshine, be more social, and get the nutrients proven to boost BDNF and reduce your stress, reduce your sugar intake. So I hope that sums it up for you nicely. Subscribe now to my channel to get more 10-minute memory hacks. Thanks.